What is this unusual clamp-like tool? My mom picked this up at my uncle's house in Michigan. It is about eight to 10 inches in length, made of some sort of cast metal, and has a ratcheting or locking mechanism in the center. He worked on old cars and motorcycles, so I suspect it may be some sort of specialized engine tool that I have never encountered. I've been an equipment tech for 20 years and have never seen one before. Any ideas? It's a piston ring groove cleaner from circa 1950s, a tool for cleaning the carbon and gunk out of piston ring grooves. Remove the piston from the engine, then remove the rings from the piston and insert the piston perpendicular to the tool into an L shape. Squeeze the handle, placing the scraper in the slot and rotate. What is this wooden board about one meter long with black metal wheels found in an old Spanish home, converted sugar mill near Malaga on the south coast of Spain? It has black metal strips embedded within it and it is now hanging on the wall of a home as a decorative piece. It is an agricultural area focused on sugar, goat and avocado. And there are two in the house. The other does not have wheels. I can't remove it from the wall so I don't know how much it weighs and cannot see any writing on it. None of the metal is sharp. It may be meant to be sharp, but just old and dull. Any ideas? It's an antique threshing board, also known as a threshing sledge. It's an obsolete agricultural implement used to separate cereals from their straw, that is to thresh. The frontal part is somewhat narrower and curved upward, like a sled or sledge, and whose bottom is covered with lithic flakes or razor-like metal blades. It has been traditionally pulled by mules or by oxen over the grain spread on the threshing floor. And a person, sitting on the threshing board, drives it in circles over the cereal that is spread on the threshing floor. What is this iron-wheeled decoration I found at an Irish restaurant? Around 20 inches in total length, I guess it's too small for a farm implement. Would it be just decoration? Or was it actually used in the past? I guess it's just a small replica. But how would it have worked as a real life sized? Any ideas? It's part of an antique wheel hoe, a push garden cultivator. You can see the brackets for the wood handles to push it, and there are no points for hooking up a horse. I've been a sixth generation farmer for 30 plus years. What is this thing I found with some old US Army items? Approximately three by three inches and the ends can be compressed where the springs are. The owner was in the army from 1959 to 1961, and this was with his pins and badges. The wires are about the diameter of a small paper clip. Google Image Lookup brought up a harmonica holder, but the owner never played the harmonica. Have any of you seen this before? It's an invisible collar stay from the 1940s, also known as a jiffy. It goes under a tie, and the pointy ends poke into the material under the collar points. It is self-adjusting and fits any size or style of collar. It stays hidden behind the collar and is used to help keep collar points down. What is this tool with a wooden handle and metal tip with a pincher found in a book? The key says it's called a spring clip tool, and I need it for a project, but I can't find this anywhere with a Google search. I've searched spring clip tool, sewing crafts, and haven't come up with anything that seems to be the same use. Does anyone know what this is? It's a rag rug spring tool made in England in the mid 20th century. It's a type of hook used in making rag rugs out of pieces of wool. It was used to push the pieces of wool through the backing of the rug and knot them together. What are these copper plates with what appear to be etched airplane images on them? About the size of a postcard with holes around the edges. I don't know if they were originally pictures or from something else. I found them while clearing my grandfather's house. He was a prolific car booter in Surrey, UK, but he was also a pilot so it could have been from anywhere. I found them in an ice cream tub wrapped in newspaper from 1978. I've tried a Google image search but have not managed anything. Can anyone please tell me what they are? Thanks in advance. These are daguerreotype plates, 
Daguerreotype was the first publicly available photographic process, widely used during the 1840s and 1850s. In 1826, Frenchman Joseph Nicephor Niaps took a picture of a barn. The image, the result of an eight-hour exposure, was the world's first photograph. Little more than 10 years later, his associate Louis-Jacques Manda Daguerre devised a way to permanently reproduce an image, and his picture needed just 20 minutes exposure. Daguerreotype starts with a silver-coated copper plate, which is buffed for a few minutes to produce a mirror-like surface. The plate is placed face down into boxes filled with iodine and then bromide, which reacts with the silver to make the plate sensitive to light. The sensitized plate is slotted into a holder for a camera. The sitter must remain completely still while the daguerreotype is made or the image will be blurry. To start the developing process and bring out the image, the plate is exposed to mercury fumes. Then the developed plate is removed from the box and now needs to be fixed to prevent the image from disappearing. Fixing the image with the type of salt sodium thiosulfate washes away any remaining light sensitive silver, stopping it from reacting with daylight. Next, to improve the stability and contrast of the daguerreotype, a solution of gold chloride is mixed and poured over the plate. Lastly, the plate is heated to warm the solution and bring out the different tones in the image. What is this wooden box I found on Facebook Marketplace with no caption or context of any kind? My first thought was an old cotton candy machine. Does anyone know what it is or what it's for? It's an RGP modification kit, an old contact lens polisher. RGP, or rigid gas permeable lens, is a rigid contact lens made of oxygen permeable polymers. Initially developed in the late 1970s, they were an improvement over prior hard lenses that restricted oxygen transmission to the eye. I am in the industry and used to use one to polish patients' contacts. Vertically position the lens lightly against the rotating tool. What is this tool I found in a Michigan barn that was originally built in the 1870s? I found it during a renovation in 2019 and still nobody can figure it out. It's made of cast metal and about 10 inches long. The bottom blade pivots and the top blade can slide up and down. Any ideas? Please let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.